the moon with all the stars and stuff hanging off of it. I mean, can you imagine going to a party wearing that? They did, they came on stage. <laughs> Again, this is in, in piano wire. It holds its shape really well. It's all... What do you put it on? Actually, these were dust people. Have to go inside his bum. Oh! Oh my God, he's gone already. <laughs> That's because I did that. Oh, the, and that exhaust is busted. So, and then when he said, run away, run away. And they liked that noise, like I tried to muffle it. But it could be, Whoa. Sinister looking guy. Actually, it's been kind of neat building it in this building because there's so many people working here. There's people that work in the building that are very close to this guy, you know what I mean? There's that link. So I can watch these guys in their normal form and I keep going, hmm. He's pretty close to that monkey I'm building. But this, this hole upper lip will be attached and it'll do that <laughs> snarl. Ah, oh, that's a little tight. I'm gonna just grab a hold of that. Let me just do that. Great, this is good. See, and then it's right there, it's a little bit tight, you can feel. And I said, I'm gonna grab a hold of that. I'm just gonna give it a little tug also. That's it. Good, and then I'm gonna give you a little pull so it was beautiful. Voluptuous French upper lip. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, yeah. Like that. Good. Good. Since I got back, I've spent hours walking all around here. Good, a little bit more voice. By the lake. Uh huh. Often I came right up to the house without daring to come in. Good, keep letting it draw forth. Can we sit down? A little bit more voice. Let's sit and talk and talk. Can we sit down? Let's sit and talk and talk. It's nice in here, so cozy and warm. Wait. Listen to the wind. Good. Remember Turgenev. Good, 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 good. Good, so you only go when I snap my fingers. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. See what happens there. <laughs> Good, right? Because then you to start. Okay. Right? You start to jump ahead of yourself. Take your time. I'm the seagull. No, that's not what I mean. What was I talking about? Yes. Turgenev. Yes? It's nice in here. It's nice in here, so cozy and warm. Listen to the wind. Remember Turgenev. Happy the man who on such a night as this has a warm corner and with his own roof. I'm the seagull. No, that's not what I mean. What was I talking about? Yes, Turgenev. And Lord help. All those homeless wanderers. Yeah. And you're crying again. Don't cry. It's all right. It makes me feel better to cry. I haven't cried for ages. So go, go back, go back a little bit, Michelle, so that you can lead into that. It's very good. And you start at one point to imbue it with a real kind of loving the sound of the words, loving saying them. He, what he will call later sincerity. Go, go, f go in that direction. If you go too far, it's easy to. But keep going that way. What conspiracy? I just. Oh, let's see what that yields. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know why I'm whispering, because I just feel stupid. Okay. <laughs> 
speak like a normal person. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry. Just come on and do it. Okay. Okay. It's it's hard to do it because it's a two thing. You want me to hike it? Yeah. Okay. That's all I gotta do. I could have said that in three words, but <laughs> ten minutes of silence <laughs> and mine. Okay. Um. Okay. And the poor moon lighting her lamp. All for nothing. I think we should open a bottle of wine, Anne. I think we have to too. We've got some downstairs. Wonderful. Very good. Much more like it. Yeah. Do you know, Laurence Olivier said that the most important thing when you act in Shakespeare is that your first line be heard and understood by everybody. And it's a rule of thumb. That's why I shout all my first lines. Because the entire audience is then comfortable with your voice. It's a trick. It's a brilliant trick. So just remember, when you come on, Ping it out there, and then they'll love you for the rest of the evening. Signora Antonio, many a time and oft in the Rialto, you have rated me about my monies and my usances, and all for use of that which is mine own. You called me misbeliever, cutthroat dog, spit upon my Jewish gabardine. Still have I borne it with a patient shrug, for sufferance is the badge of all our tribe. I must like to call thee so again, to spit on thee again, to spurn thee too. If thou wilt lend us money, lend it not to thy friends. For when did friendship take a breed for barren metal of his friend, but lend it rather to thine enemy? Who if he break, thou mayest with better face exact the penalty. How like you the young German, the Duke of Saxony's nephew. Very vilely in morning when he is sober, and most vilely in the <laughs> afternoon when he is drunk. <laughs> when he is best, he is a little worse than a man, and when he is worst, he is little better than a beast. And if the worst fall that ever fell, I hope I shall make shift to go without him. If he should offer to choose, and choose the right casket, you should refuse to perform your father's will, if you should refuse to accept him. Therefore, for fear of the worst, I pray thee, set a deep glass of Rhenish wine on the contrary <laughs> casket. For if the devil be within in that temptation without, I know he will choose it. I will do anything, Nerissa, ere I will be married to a sponge. Bring me the fairest creature northward born, where Phoebus' fire scarce thaws the icicles. And let us make incision for your love to prove whose blood is reddest, his or mine. <laughs> I tell thee, lady, this aspect of mine hath feared the, the valiant. By my love, I swear the best regarded virgins of our clime hath loved it too. I would not change this hue except to steal your thoughts, my gentle queen. I'm going to read you something that was published and it's by Nicholas Pennell. For the younger members, he was a leading actor here for many years. And this is what he wrote. When I was young and in drama school, I used to perform for BBC drama. I did a radio show with an actress called Evelyn Russell, who had been in Irving's company. Irving worked in his early days with William McCready, who worked with Edmund Keane, who worked with Sarah Siddons, who worked with David Garrick. And Garrick had worked with an actor called Hawk, whose father had been a boy player in Shakespeare's company. So that makes me only eight generations of actor away from Shakespeare. Beautiful, right? The point of this is that in a, acting is handed on from actor to actor. It's the only way to do it, the tradition. You can learn how to move and talk. You can learn a lot of stuff. But basically, it's from observing the people who came before you. That is really the way theater goes. Here we are practically falling out over him, and he's next door or in the garden somewhere laughing up his sleeve and improving Nina's mind in a last minute attempt to convince her he's a genius. You seem to take pleasure in being horrible to me. Yes, please. 
You seem to take pleasure in being horrible to me. I have the greatest respect for that man, and I'll thank you not to speak of him like that in my presence. Well, I haven't the slightest respect for him. You'd like me to think he's a genius, too. But I'm sorry, I can't buy. His books make me sick. That's envy. Talentless people with ideas about themselves can't do anything but run down when anybody's got any real talent. It's their consolation. Real talent? If it comes to that, I've got more talent than a lot of you put together. You hacks and mediocrities have grabbed off all the places for yourself, and you think the kind of art you do is the only kind that counts. Anything else, you stifle, you stamp out. Well, I'm not taken in by you, not by him, and not by you either. My son, the dick. Go back to your cozy little theater and act in your pathetic, stupid little place. I have never in my life appeared in a play of that description. You get away from me. You can't even write a, a wretched little comic sketch. Go back to Kiev and open a shop. Parasite, student rat's nest, little nobody. here for the next hour and a half, so you'd, it'll be a drawing of the curtain back. Knee pads are really important for this. Got a lot of physical comedy, so. Or they would call you princess. That, that, they called me princess. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, honey bun. You're very welcome. Is this one from there? That's it. <laughs> Miss Portia, hello. There we go. on and darkening the skin. Um, may not be the most politically correct, but. And I was a young actor. Um, I was red-headed and very fair. Um, there was a director I was working with called Esme Church. And she said, whenever you put on your eye makeup, always use mascara, because if you don't, you'll look albino. <laughs> And every time I put on mascara for the, for the last 60 years, I thought, oh, that's my church. <laughs> it's a memorial to that dear lady. Yeah. And there's my talent <laughs> going in with that pin. <laughs> Left talent. Left talent, right, right talent. talent. <laughs>
And I've always got a standby in my pocket. Just in case I run out. <laughs> Sometimes if I forget to do a part on a body, I, o I go out on stage and I feel that something's missing. It's weird. I can feel, it just doesn't feel complete. And then I'll get off stage and I'll be like, what was missing today? And then I'll realize I didn't darken my eyebrows or I forgot to do my feet. Yeah, I think you have to prepare in front of the mirror. Even if you don't, I'm not really putting on all that much makeup. You see a little color and just something to make the eyes come across. But you're preparing yourself to make that face the one that you carry onto the stage. There we are, transformed. <laughs> From farm wife to princess. <laughs> It's a great yep. pleasure to be able to make myself not myself. <laughs> That's one of the best things about being an actor, so I figure why not. Well, c'est fini. Voilà. Ladies and gentlemen, 15 minutes, please. 15 minutes. Thank you. The great thing about this work in here is that you get the best of both worlds, if you're lucky. You get to do those real heavy-duty uh, period pieces that are undoubtedly classics. And then you get to do these relatively modern plays. I mean, this one's 40 years old, but it, this play's gonna be around forever. There we go. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Martha. Have a good one. Thank you. You I'll too. See you later. What time are we at, Bonna? Okay, go, go announcement, please. Welcome to the Stratford Festival of Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, part one beginners are free to running positions, please. Part one beginners are free to running positions. Thank you. Stand by, please, stand by. Here we go, stand by sound cue, one to 5.5, .5. electrics two to six, fan on, fog in, out, bomb. Bomb and sound cue one. Go, thanks, Ella. Fan on and electrics three. Go. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod on the east of Eden. And Cain knew his wife. Where the hell did she come from? <laughs> of your descendants, a man who wears a cathedral for a cloak and a church spire for a hat.
Yeah, just warming up the white stuff before I go on. <laughs> Make sure no one gets killed. <laughs> by his wit to yield myself his wife who wins me by that means I told you. Your self-renowned prince then stood as fair as any cover I have looked on yet for my affection. Even for death I thank you. <laughs> Therefore, I pray you lead me to the casket to try my fortune. Ah! By this scimitar that slew this Sophie and the Persian prince that won three fields of Sultan Soliman, I would or stare the sternest eyes that look. Yeah! Outbraid the heart most daring on the earth. Yeah! Pluck the young sucking cock from the she bear. Yeah! 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 the line when he roars for prey. Yeah! Last year was my first season, and I, um, was part of the conservatory for classical theater training. After studying for 15 weeks and taking classes, and then finally be, being able to uh, put that to use in uh, being part of the season, being able to watch some of the, great, the greatest actors in, in, in this country. What better way for a young actor to learn? Here is a noble man I have often noted in that company. <laughs> but I know not his name. What, what manner of man in it like, Your Majesty? Oh, a goodly, portly man, if I <laughs> a corpulent, of a cheerful look and a pleasing eye, and a most noble carriage. He's aged age, age to be some 50. <laughs> oh, my lady, declining to three score, and now I remember me. His name is Falstaff. <laughs> if that man should be lewdly given, he did seem to me, if I had a... I see virtue in its looks. If then the tree may be known by the fruit, if the fruit may the tree, then peremptorily I speak it. There is virtue in that false stuff. Him keep with the rest banish oh. and tell me. <laughs> tell me. <laughs> thou naughty varlet, where hast thou been this month? <laughs> Set to a leg? No. Or an arm? No. Or take away the grief of a wound? No. Yeah. Honor hath no skill in surgery, then. No. <laughs> what is honor? <coughs> a word. What is in that word honor? Huh? What is that honor? Like we're all, I think we're all learning. No matter, we all find things. That's an amazing thing too. You'll be work, working with someone that you, they think is brilliant, and 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 you know, has been working in in the company for over twenty years, and they'll still feel like, oh, I can't, I don't know what I'm doing, and it's something reassuring in that, you know, that that someone you think has a complete handle on it, uh, is finding maybe just as difficult as as you are, although you don't.